My name is Ozzy Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a bit of a response to one of Jeremy Fragrance's uh, recent videos about bad boy fragrances. I like his list, although there was no picture, um, because his video was black, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I liked his list, but I put together a little list of my own, so here are some bad boy fragrances that I personally like. I'm going to start off with one of the best men's fragrances of all time, Dior's Fahrenheit. This has a sort of a uh, gasoline note in the opening. Uh, most people think it smells like gasoline or petrol if you're here in Australia. Um, after that initial blast of sort of astringent gasoline though, it's quite leathery and quite floral. and. In all honesty, this is one of the few men's floral fragrances that I just think smells absolutely unequivocally masculine. There's, you wouldn't mistake this fragrance for anything else. It's a... Uh, you may not pick up on the floral notes like I do, but that's just the way I perceive it. It is incredibly floral. And if you're a, you know, a bit of a bad boy, so to speak, you'll be able to pull off a floral like this, no problem. So, first one is Dior's Fahrenheit. Also, the performance is pretty much god mode. Second one is a tester bottle that I got free because the atomizer was broken and I uh, just replaced the atomizer. Gucci Guilty Black. This is a... This is probably the most generic fragrance on this list. And it is a bad boy fragrance if you're sort of like one of those regular bad boy types, you know? A generic, just everyday bad boy type. Nothing too, you know, niche or out there or whatever. This is for one of those bad boys in a suit. It's aromatic, it's green, it's got some lavender in it. Uh, this is very mass appealing and I doubt anybody on earth would dislike the way this smells. Yeah, you could say it smells boring, but it still smells fantastic. And whilst it may not be my favorite one on the list, I've got to recommend it. So, Gucci Guilty Black. Doesn't look uh, particularly special with the uh, sort of bronze looking atomizer, but oh well. Next up, I'm gonna go with Bulgari's Man in Black. This has a really rich rum note to it. But it also has some spices, it smells a little Middle Eastern, you know, it's um, oriental. And actually has a list of uh, the notes on the back. Oriental, amber, floral, amber rum, tuberose, leather record, benzo and tonka bean. This is, I've got to say, one of those leather jacket, well, leather jacket type scents. I wore this to a Halloween party and I got some compliments for it. It is just a fantastic fragrance. Performance, even though it's an Eau de Parfum, isn't fantastic. You would expect quite a bit more, but that's not saying it's bad. It still performs. But uh, yeah, it is a bad boy fragrance through and through and I highly recommend this one. And as far as cold weather fragrances goes, this should be on your list anyway. Next up is something a little different. Yop Hom Extreme. This one smells like leather and chocolate. I would call it a gourmand. You may not have even heard of this one. It's not common. It's sweet and would suit a younger guy for sure. The chocolate pairs well with the leather and it's just a sweet fragrance overall. Very youthful. Good for compliments as well. Uh, maybe don't over spray it and Pretty much like anything else on this list, except uh, Gucci Guilty Black, this is going to be a cold weather fragrance. I had to sort of figure out uh, a fragrance to chuck in here that you could like, you know, a slightly fresher one. So that was Gu Gucci Guilty Black. The rest of these are almost like cold weather fragrances. But yeah, Yo Pom Extreme. You can get this one for under 40 bucks in Australia and highly recommended if you're looking for a, a more playful bad boy fragrance. Actually, I take that back. There's two slightly fresh fragrances here. This one is an absolute classic, like uh, Dior's Fahrenheit, and it's pretty much 
you know, you associate it with, you know, those 80s, 80s yuppie bad boy types. Dracar Noir. One of the cheapest, best smelling fragrances you can find. This may be my favorite fragrance of all time because I'm boring like that. Uh, there's just nothing better. Wear this after a shower, chuck it on on a warm day and just radiate pure badassery. Dracar Noir is aromatic, it's a little green. It's a bit barbershoppy. It's just one of the best smelling fragrances of all time and yeah, there's a reason why it's still going so strong after all these years. If you haven't tried Dracar Noir, definitely check it out. Although I have heard that the older formulations are significantly stronger, they perform better. Uh, I don't know exactly when my bottle is from, but it performs pretty decently for a fragrance on the fresher side of things. So yeah, check it out. Next up is, actually, you know, come to think of it, a lot of these fragrances are, you know, in my top 10. The next one, Dirty English by Juicy Couture. I think this is the only men's fragrance Juicy Couture make, and it is god tier. It is absolute god tier. It is leathery, it's oody, it's spicy. The oud isn't, it isn't a stinky oud, it's just sort of like a, it takes on more of a, a cedary, woody quality than a particular, you know, fecal or, you know, oody stink. This is like a, a good beginner oud fragrance. Anyway, Dirty English. The only flaw with this one is that it doesn't last too long. If this lasted like double the amount of time, it would be the best men's fragrance of all time, hands down. I've got to smell it. I've got to smell it. Oh, it's phenomenal. It is just phenomenal. So yeah, that's Dirty English. This is another one of those like uh, leather jacket badass scents. Definitely check it out if you haven't tried. Um, it's not too well known actually, and it's a shame because it's a fantastic fragrance and I would like to see a, a more intense version of it. So I really doubt anyone from Juicy Couture is watching this, but if you are from Juicy Couture, Make another Dirty English, like make a Dirty English Blanco, that'd be amazing. Next up, on the uh, leather train again, Gucci Guilty Absolute. One of the most beast mode performing fragrances of all time. However, it is love it or hate it, if a fragrance ever was. This smells like damp, decaying leather. It is pungent, it is strong, it is not mass appealing. This is the hardest of all of these fragrances to pull off. Even in the coldest weather, you've got to have some balls to pull this one off. Uh, it is phenomenal, but you've got to have confidence to wear it. So that's why it's a badass fragrance. And yeah, it, it, on my skin, it lasts through three showers, through 48 hours, it is just impeccable performance, but it's at a price. Some people just hate the uh, DNA of this one. And last but not least, seeing as I'm wearing a leather jacket, Jean Vavatos' Dark Rebel Rider, which I prefer to Dark Rebel. And also, this one performs better than Dark Rebel as well. This is another dirty leather scent, although not to the level of Gucci Guilty Absolute, but when I first tried out Gucci Guilty Absolute, I wanted to go down a path that was more fragrances similar to that, so I ended up finding this. This is a slightly more mass appealing leather fragrance, and I think more people can pull this one off, but just be careful about where you're wearing it and who you're wearing it with, because it can be a little offensive in the same way that our Gucci Guilty Absolute is. Although this performs nowhere near as long as Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's ambery as well and a bit tobacco-y. I don't think tobacco is a listed note, but I do get a touch of dry tobacco. It's a fantastic fragrance and uh, if you haven't tried this one either, definitely check it out. Well, that about covers my uh, list of bad boy fragrances. Um, if you've ever worn any of them before, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know how what you would change about my list. 
I look forward to hearing everyone's opinion. And uh, yeah, I doubt Jeremy's going to watch this, but if, if you do, let me know what you think of my list. Anyways, my name is Ozzy Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube, and until the next video, I'll catch you guys around.